Good afternoon, my warriors. Good afternoon, my warriors. Good afternoon, my warriors on this beautiful Sunday. Hope y'all can hear me. I don't want to be too loud right now. It's pretty quiet. It's always quiet up in here, but it's, it's the afternoon, but it's, it's just seem a little quiet, so I don't want to be too loud. But I hope y'all doing wonderful on this beautiful Sunday. Uh, is your girl Chandra on Self Motivation Talk. Y'all already know we got a good one this afternoon. I got my little coffee. I don't know if y'all ever heard of this. I don't know if you can see it. If, if any of y'all ever tried this before, it's a, a coffee protein drink, Alani coffee, protein coffee. Now, I'm scared to drink it. It got 10 grams of protein in it. I'm scared to drink it because coffee, y'all already know. If y'all anything like me, coffee put me in the bathroom. So mixed in with the protein, <laughs> it ain't looking too good. <laughs> But yes, y'all stay tuned, man. We got a good one for you, man. And yes, let's get it popping. <laughs> so excited to be here this afternoon y'all i was gonna say morning i'm so used to staying morning because when it's like this and it's quiet and it's you know it's comfy and all that you just it's, it feel like it's still early you know what i'm saying but it's the afternoon y'all um i want to first before i get started i want to um uh shout out my old subscribers my new subscribers tuning in i love y'all y'all already know y'all the real mvp y'all the warriors shit y'all make this thing happen you know what i'm saying um i love y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in with your girl um i want to do another one my voice gone i'm sorry y'all that's another thing my voice my voice gone i don't know why <laughs> i ain't been yelling and screaming or nothing so i don't know <laughs> but um yeah that's another thing my bad y'all shake shake people energy off too that's another thing i'm sitting here like yeah and I know this ain't my energy, so we got to shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Uh, off. <laughs> shake that off, okay? So, um, yes. <laughs> send it back to the sender. We send that back to the sender. But I want to give a special shout out to my big sis. Salute. Happy birthday. It is a real G birthday today. Uh, I can't text. You already know that. If my mama didn't tell y'all that already, uh, if she watching this video as well, she know too. I can't text like that. I told you my phone, it will uh, shut off on me or it'll freeze. And I'm so sick of it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, I have to reboot everything. If anybody know my phone, my family should know how my phone is. So I can't help that unless somebody plan on coming together and helping me be able to get something much better than this. And I don't want nothing used. I want something new. You get it? And I know I might sound like, well, you better take what you can get. They know I do YouTubing. They know I do a lot of different endeavors. I do nails. I do all different type of things where I need my phone for the different stuff I need it for. The storage, the megabytes, the, the quality. I need these things. You get it? I just don't want anything thrown at me here. Get that. No, 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 no. If you know what I'm doing, you know what I need. Okay. But I love them. I love y'all to death. Y'all already know what it is, man. Ain't nobody perfect. We all fall short. We all get unhappy with each other. Whatever the case may be, it's cool. It is what it is. Still love y'all to death. I know you still love me too. Okay. That's neither here nor there. I just wanted to give out that shout out for my sister. Um, I ain't going to say her age or nothing, but she already know you're getting younger and younger. We call it younger. <laughs> you're younger. You're getting younger and younger. Keep doing your thing. Big sis, I love you. Uh, don't think anybody thinking about you because <laughs> uh, you're being thought about. You're all being thought about. Okay. So, okay. It is what it is. Um, I got my own stuff going on, obviously. Uh, I, I'm trying to be a better person for myself so I can be able to come back out into the world and back out to you know, whoever I need to, that the Lord put on my heart to come back to and be better than ever. You know, that's why the separation is necessary is for you to be able to regain and be, be able for you to retain, be able for you to, you know what I'm saying? Figure out yourself, find your strength back, take your stuff back. Okay. That way you can come back out stronger, better than ever. People going to understand and know how to treat your ass. Okay. If they don't know how to treat you, I already told you I walk away, man. It's that simple. <laughs> P9, Vajayjay. <laughs> It come a dime a dozen, okay? Don't sell yourself short for that thing. It ain't, and it's always going to be there. Mama, you taught me that. Men, they always going to be there. You taught me that at a very young age. They always going to be there. <laughs> and I'm 32 years old, mama. And you ain't lying. They still there. <laughs> they still there. <laughs> oh, I love y'all. Happy birthday, sis. I won't probably be able to come through if you're having a party today. Not feeling so good. I haven't been feeling so good for the past couple of days, y'all. 
it's going to be all right, y'all. My mama, I love you. I saw your text. I couldn't do nothing. I'm way out here. I couldn't even rush to you. Whatnot. My car acting up again. There's a lot of stuff going on. The devil's working. You know what I'm saying? And no matter how much we try to do, want to do the right thing, or we want to help or whatever, Satan, he'll try to block that. You know what I'm saying? He'll try to be like, no, you ain't doing nothing. He'll laugh at you. So I say that to say, I love y'all. I'm thinking about y'all. I pray for y'all every single day. Uh, mama, I hope you're feeling better. I love you. Uh, I know that that sickness is, is running ramp, rampant. That, you know what I'm saying? Everybody getting sick left and right. So stay prayed up in the most high, y'all. Keep yourselves, you know, away. I hate to say it, but keep yourselves away from people that, you know. <laughs> but some people, you ain't going to know that they sick. It ain't going to be coughing. It ain't going to be wheezing. They, you ain't going to know they sick. So just be careful. Wash your hands. Keep some hand sanitizer around. Put your face mask on if you're in an area where it's confided with a lot of people, where it's squeezed in like sardines. Yeah, we're going to need you to put that mask on, okay? But yes, <laughs> I'm so like feeling good this this afternoon, y'all. And I want y'all to feel good too, man. Okay. It's a beautiful, I was going to say it's a beautiful morning, but it ain't morning. It's a beautiful afternoon. <laughs> y'all know that song? I think it's a commercial. I don't know. But yes, I'm timing y'all out. So y'all already know I got y'all word of the day, man. Okay. I've been very busy looking into a lot of things. I've been very busy doing research on a lot of things, um, learning a lot of different things about life, about myself, about people, about energy. And mind you, these were things that I've been new as a child, but it wasn't so profound as it is the more older that I'm getting, you know? So the more older I'm becoming, y'all, <laughs> I'm finding myself like no other. And I would have never thought in a million years that this version of me was anywhere inside of me. I would have never, y'all would have never imagined that the stuff y'all got in y'all, the strength y'all got in y'all, the love y'all got in y'all, the courage y'all got in y'all, all of these things y'all got in y'all, you couldn't even fathom. You couldn't even see that stuff back then. Y'all couldn't see that thing back then. When you were younger and you had people projecting their insecurities and shortcomings on you, you didn't see that stuff. Y'all didn't see that thing. There was a blockage, like how if your sink or your or your toilet get clogged up, there's a blockage. Let me try to flush that toilet while it's blocked with tissue and all type of stuff in it. You think it's going to go down? Or all of it going to come right back up and overflow the bowl? You get it? <laughs> Take y'all stuff, okay? Take your stuff. Everything is energy. Everything is frequency. Once we start to realize and operate in that kind of reality... Y'all life going to change. I said it. And I'll pay you if it's not true. <laughs> if it doesn't work for you, I'll pay you. Okay? I've always been told you can't help nobody or tell nobody or try to connect with anybody if you ain't been through that thing. Okay? I can't. My mama told me that. I can't sit up here. She used to always say this. I can't sit up here and tell y'all nothing that I ain't been through. I can't tell y'all nothing I ain't been through. <laughs> I'm only telling you because it sucked for me. I said that in the last video. It felt like shit. And honestly, that's not even the proper word for it. Because it's bigger than that. It's stronger than that. The feeling was more immense than that. Okay. So for y'all to go out in the world and make it look like how you make it look, I bow my head to you for that. And other people bow their head for you to you for that. Now, just like how I told y'all the other day, you ain't going to get your flowers. You ain't going to get your flowers, okay? You ain't going to get your recognition. You ain't going to get your cookies. You ain't going to get none of that. <laughs> but what you will get is people still watching you. What you will get is people still praising you behind the scenes. What you will get is people still, your name still ringing bells in people's mouth. That's what you will get. But most of the time, you won't see it. You won't know it. You'll feel it. You'll feel that thing. If you're an empath, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the energy. Like yesterday, y'all, I felt that energy. I felt somebody coming at me like, like a boomerang. I felt, as a matter of fact, I met a Mack truck. Much better. 
I felt somebody coming at me like a Mack truck yesterday. And I'm sitting here like, I feel icky. This ain't me. I don't know why I feel like this. Start telling yourself that. Start telling yourself why I feel like this, especially if there's no reason. Tell yourself why I feel like this. This ain't my feeling. I rebuke this feeling in the name of Jesus. Oh, let's get that off of us. I want y'all to do that right now. Get that off of you. Oh, ooh, whoever you are, whoever you are, we send it back to the sender. All of it. Tenfold. Start from your head. Come down. Like how to be doing pop locking. We need you to come all the way down. All the way down. Go and brush your shoulders off. Go and brush your shoulders off. <laughs> Get that dirt off your shoulders. <laughs> you already know who that is. I ain't too fond of him, but yeah. Get that dirt off your shoulders. Okay? Now y'all ready? We ready? We ready to get into this word, baby? Because this word easy. This word is something everybody should be doing on a daily basis. Not even to the world, but to themselves. We need for you to do this to yourself. Give it more to yourself. Kindness. Y'all, word of the day is kindness. Kindness. Kill them with kindness. See how simple that was, y'all? Yeah, y'all could y'all probably could have said it along with me. Kill them with kindness. Don't raise your hands at once. I wanna I wanna I wanna dig deep in something. I like dissecting stuff. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna know that about me by now. I like to separate stuff. I like to rip it apart. I wanna see the insides. I want to see the insides. I'm going to ravage you like a wolf so I can see what's in you. Kill them with kindness, y'all. People love drama. People love turbulence. People love disturbances. And you have some people say, I don't like that shit. We're not talking about y'all civil ones. Y'all level-headed ones. Y'all conscious ones. We're not talking about y'all. We're talking about the people that don't love themselves. The people that just don't really like themselves. So they ain't going to be kind to themselves, let alone be kind to you. Those kind of people. So we're going to need for you to, no matter what, smile. Smile. We're going to need for you to smile. It's going to enrage them. It's going to enrage them. It's going to infuriate them. Because they're going to look at it like, I'm giving you, I'm giving you crap. I'm giving you mess. I'm giving you I'm giving you nastiness. And here you are smiling at me. Here you are still telling me, be blessed. Here you are saying, have a great day, man. I appreciate the comment. Mind you, the comment was, you a piece of shit. I don't like you. But you said, I appreciate it, brother, sister. Be blessed. You stay prayed up, man. I appreciate that. And they look at you like, I just was talking shit about you. <laughs> I just said you wasn't nothing. I just said, and hey, you telling me to stay prayed up at the most high? You telling me to be blessed? You telling me it's okay? I'm, I'm cool with it. I can live with that. You telling me I can live with that. It's cool. It's okay. And you still going about your business with your head held high. Let me tell you how much people will want to destroy you when you do that. When you kill people with kindness and poise and beauty and sophistication, sophistication, when you do these things, it's foreign. 
Let me explain what foreign means. They don't get it. They don't understand it. It's not of my language. It's not of my language. I couldn't even begin to study on it. Because even if I studied, I wouldn't understand the language still. I wouldn't be able to know how to pronunciate the words. Every time somebody come at me with this demonic behavior, this demonic energy, y'all, I smile. I now, nowadays, I smile. I'm cool. I could live with that. Yo, y'all been through so much. Y'all been through too much to give a damn. Y'all been through too much to give up your kindness like it's just a free trip. <laughs> okay? Y'all been through way too much. We're not getting younger. We're getting older. Even with my sis' birthday today, man. Live it up. Party up. And keep the beauty that you have inside of you no matter what. Keep the strength you have in you no, no matter what. Keep creating and finding the big purpose, the greater version of you. Because we all got it in us. You know how to say shit. I'm worth more. I'm better than that. All of that stuff. <laughs> party like it's your last party, baby. Because I, I, I want to feel it from over here. I want I want to feel it telepathically from over here. <laughs> I want to party over here, too. Okay. I love y'all, man. Kindness goes a long way. And you got some people that'll be like, I don't give a damn. You don't talk to them kind of people. Don't kind of people, they, they set in stone, man. You can't teach your old dog new tricks. Okay? They set in stone. You walk away from them kind of people. They ain't got nothing to do with you. They act like I don't want to change for the better. I'm cool with where I'm at, what I'm doing. My mental is straight. You know, I'm cool. Nothing you can do about that stuff, y'all. Don't beat yourself up. You ain't God. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up. Yes, we have a God and a God that's inside of us, but you ain't the creator. Don't you dare think you are. <laughs> Don't you dare. Let it go. Let it flow. How many times I got to say it in my last video? Everything gonna work out right, you know. <laughs> Everything's gonna work out right, you know. Okay? Kill them with kindness, y'all. Because that's gonna stay. Every time you go out in the world when y'all do that, it's like that. Like this light that's on me right now, this light that's beaming in my eye. If I look up at that light, I can't even look up at it. It's too bright. That's how y'all gonna look. Each time y'all do that, the light is gonna become brighter and brighter and brighter. You're going to be non-recognizable. Stronger, stronger, and stronger. Your light going to shine so bright to the point where they can't see your face. They can't see your face. <laughs> if anything, they, I just don't want to see it at all. It's just too bright. I don't, I don't care what the hell she is, what it is, or nothing. I don't want to see that thing. It's bright. There's a lot to take in. I don't want to take that. I'm getting a headache. And I want y'all, when that, when that kind of energy still happens to y'all, I want you to still bask in that light. Flow in that energy. Embrace it, love it, enjoy it. Because one thing about it that some people that, you know, I've read up on and everything, because I read people's stuff. Like, I read other people's comments and different stuff, whatnot, as far as on other people's channels and what they're going through. And, you know, and I look at people and I do understand when they say, how am I going to do this? I live with this person. 
I depend on this person. How am I going to be able to get away from this person? How am I going to be able to do these things that you're saying? How am I going to do this? I feel like I'm stuck. Y'all have no idea how much I feel like I'm stuck too right now. I'm ready to leave. I'm about to leave too though. But I ain't going to say too much on that, but I'm not, I'm not staying here, y'all. I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. Y'all don't know when. Nobody knows when. I don't even know when. But when the time comes, the silence is going to be profound. No one is going to know how easily I'm going to leave like a thief in the night. How smooth the transition is going to be. Like a thief in the night. It's going to be a smooth transition, baby. People are going to be looking for y'all. And y'all ain't going to be around no more. Y'all not even going to be around no more as far as in reach. You get it? In reach, in arm's length, metaphorically speaking, they ain't going to be able to get to y'all. Because we know these people don't travel. <clears throat> they don't travel. They too scurry. They too scurry. They don't travel. Now, something as big as you, they might try to travel because it's you. It's you. Now, they might try to make some things happen because it's your ass. And don't think for one second is of anything of good intentions. It's not, oh, I want to go and follow them and elevate them and help them and, per, and uh, support. No, it ain't none of that, y'all. It ain't none of that. It ain't none of that. It's, it's not, I want to find you and I want to help you and I want to be of, of, of assets to you. It's none of that. They want to find you for much more sinister reasons. Much more sinister reasons. I kill people with kindness now, man. I don't want to touch you. I ain't going to say nothing to you. I ain't going to say too much. I say a little bit of something, but I'm still going to keep it at a kind, simplistic level. And then do my, my due diligence, which is walk away. Walk away. Do your due diligence. Walk away. Your kindness speaks volumes. <laughs> Do y'all not understand that you change the atmosphere when you walk into the room? You change the energy when you walk into the room. You make the shit level up when you walk into a room. You don't even know that. Y'all don't even know that, but I'm here to tell you that. <laughs> Next time you go into a room full of people, pay attention to it. Pay attention to the atmosphere. Pay attention to the frequency. Pay attention to the energy. Pay attention to the shift. Pay attention to how people are going to start squirming in their seats. They're going to begin to start staring at you. But then when you glance and you see them, you catch them. Now they act like they don't see, they wasn't looking at you. You clearly saw them looking at you, man. They was looking at y'all. They were staring. Keep your kindness. Keep your love. Keep your light. Keep shining. See, because when a person feel like they can come at the forefront of you and they can be able to cause chaos in your life and get a reaction out of you, now your kindness out the window. Now you, you ready to murk somebody. You ready to destroy somebody. And that's all they wanted. They just wanted to see if they can get a glimpse of your power. If they can be able to control a glimpse of your power. And once they see that you yelling and you going crazy and you ready to take somebody's head off, they've won. They looking at it like, oh, she gave me a piece of that power. You don't have no idea how much that made them feel Mighty. It's like giving away a piece of your power. Every time y'all fuss and fight and argue, you want to put hands and feet on somebody and all this different stuff, you're giving them a piece of your power. You're giving them a piece of your gift. Your gift is priceless, man. We don't charge nobody for free game, but at the same time, we, I ain't about to just willingly give it to you because you want to see a reaction out of me. You want to get some friction out of me so you can get some of me, some of my what I got in me. So you can walk around the rest of the world feeling good, feeling like, yeah, with your head held high. You know, and damn well, that ain't you. Your head on low. But see, you need to come at me and get some of mine, what I got. You need to get some of my energy so you can go back out and feel that confidence. So if they feel like I got them, got them. They've won. Y'all, I used to give up my energy so much. Everybody, every time I said, shit, I ain't gonna lie. Somebody used to cut in front of me. I started to hold my horn, cut the high beams on, all type of shit. I was a demon. I was. I ain't gonna lie. I was not one to be reckoned with. I wasn't. I'm, I'm straight up telling I was a piece of shit. I was always on go, always angry, willing to hurt myself and others. Hell, I want to be on this earth. 
I ain't give a fuck. See, I'm sorry. I ain't give a damn about this earth. <laughs> if somebody got me on, on, on go, we all going. We all getting taken out, man. Hell, if I don't want to be here, hell, it don't matter anyway. That's the mentality I have. I don't want to be here anyway. I'm about to take a few out with me that want to fuck with me. That's how I felt. I'm going to take y'all out. We all going. See, that's the devil. That's nothing of us. That's not in us. That's not you. That's not me. So I had to dig deep and dissect me. I had to separate me and see who is doing this to me. What's doing this to me? I know now. I know now. I don't just say it's Satan either. Of course it's Satan doing this shit. But it's deeper than Satan, man. It's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. I'm going to keep elaborating all the time on different things. I can't put it all in one video because the video will be a lifetime video. <laughs> I have to get a, a plethora of phones to keep putting them back because all the storage is out of each phone. You get it? Y'all keep doing the damn thing. Keep the kindness. Keep the love. Keep all of that thing. Keep your poise, man. Uh, keep looking pretty. Keep looking handsome while you're doing it. Because me, I'm going to tell y'all the damn truth. I cry every day up in my bedroom, boy. But I come back out into the world. And I do the damn thing. And people could never. They could never notice. They would never notice. They would never understand it. But they just look at you and think you got it all together. You have no idea I have it worse than you. My mentality is broke more than yours. But I just know how to do the work to be able to change that. You know what I'm saying? So it can help you change the trajectory of my life. I'm broken just like you. I just choose not to wallow in the sorrow. I choose to stand up. I choose to not be a victim. I choose to not feel pity or be pitied. I don't want nobody pitying me, man. <laughs> I'm too strong for that shit. I don't need for y'all to tell people, I don't want you pitying me. I got this thing. I got the will. I don't have control of the will, but I got the will. And I know my creator has control of it. And I'm just going to let go and let him do his thing. I love y'all, man. Stay prayed up with the most high, man. I'm telling y'all, whoever your creator, who you feel that your creator is, because I can't tell it. I can't say everybody believe in God. Hey, that ain't up to me to throw that religious stuff down your throat. I ain't I ain't with that. I don't like people throwing religion down my throat because I reject it. Dead ass. It is what it is. You're not God. I reject what you're trying to say to me. Be only because you're trying to ram it down my throat. And I might have said that in a, <laughs> in a messed up way, but yeah, you're trying to ram that thing. Okay. You're trying to choke me to death. I don't think so. You ain't God. <laughs> tell the next person that, that try to throw religious down your throat, y'all. You tell them, I'm open to agree and to disagree, but that's who I believe in, that's who you believe in, that's cool. But I'm not going to change who I believe in for nobody. And I'm going to continue to talk about my father, Jesus Christ, on this platform. Whoever don't like it, you already know what to do. <laughs> I don't even got to say it. We, we already know. If I don't like something, I don't even want to see it. So I ain't going to pay no attention to it. Okay? Let me get myself situated. I got a couple things I got to do as far as in this house. I really can't do much because, like I said, I'm not feeling good. I just got to wash some clothes because they got their last week of school this week for the children before the holidays. And that's another thing, man. You know, you're not going to have people that I just want to put that out there. And it's not for nobody. I don't want nobody to feel them kind of way because I know how people try to think, oh, you talking about me. If, if the shoe fits, then hey. <laughs> but I do want to say this. People will go around and get other stuff done or do other things knowing that you're doing the same shit, but they will not support you. You get it? And I'm not, like I said, I'm not, I ain't even going to elaborate on it. I just want to put that out there that when you're trying to do something, you're trying to be an entrepreneur, you're trying to create things, you're trying to, you know, have this business endeavor to help people in your life, you know, friends, family, whoever the case may be, close ones, even strangers, you know what I'm saying? But you're trying to make pave a way where, you know, things could be easier for you and you don't have to pay so much money to the next stranger that really don't give a damn about you or nothing. Don't care to support you. Nothing. They just want your money. Okay. I'm the type of person where I watch people literally go to other people and get shit done knowing that I do the same thing and they will not support. They will not support you. They'll go support the next person that don't give a damn about them. They just want your money. Okay. So I say that to say this, keep y'all doing it. Keep doing the damn thing. Keep creating, keep doing what you do. And the people that's for you, they're going to gravitate. I already told y'all. Still keep your kindness. Keep your love. Keep your poise. And at the same time, 
Stay away from the people that's like that. The people that see what you're doing and don't want to support, but they'll go support the next person that's doing the same thing that you're doing. Don't fuck with them. And I said what I said. I said what I said. Don't mess with them because it's a pure sign of jealousy. It's a pure sign of hatred. It's a pure sign of, you know what I'm saying? It's all of that. I said what I said. How many people do y'all know? Let's say, let's say you sell CDs. You know what I'm saying? But somebody will go to the CD store and they'll buy the same CD that you're selling for a cheaper price and everything, whatnot. Knowing you're trying to be an entrepreneur, you're trying to do the damn thing out here, but they'll go to the next store and buy the same CD for more price, for a higher price, for to a stranger, and they won't support your shit. That's how this world we live in. That's the world we live in, y'all. That's the world we live in. And it is what it is. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. <laughs> but I won't operate as far as being around people like that. You will never see me. <laughs> And I said what I said, and I still love you to death, but you will never see me, never. <laughs> then you'll try to reach out whichever which way, and you still won't be able to reach out. Because I say that to say this, my number getting changed. I'm changing everything about me, baby. <laughs> my whole life back then, that shit old, that shit in the past. The old me, the old Chandra, that shit dead. She dead. She died. I'm, I, I don't even know if y'all came to the funeral. Y'all didn't even show up. Y'all didn't even show up. I've been, I've been cloned, metaphorically speaking. I'm being funny, y'all. The new version of me, this is it. I've been cloned, man. That old version died. You'll never get the old me again. You'll never get the old me again. I love y'all. <laughs> I chuckle myself. I make myself laugh. <laughs> Only because I know who I am. I spice said it best. <laughs> Still getting money. I know who I am. <laughs> I play too much, man. But yeah, I know who I am. A lot of these people, they say they know who they are. They really don't. Don't let them fool you. I know who I am, though. And that's why I show who I am. I don't just say it. I'm going to show your ass who I am. Okay? Because every time I spoke, every time I said something, it went on one ear out the fucking other. I said what I said. I'm disappointed, y'all. We all get mad sometimes. One ear out the other. So now I got to show you. Who the boss? <laughs> I'm the boss. I'm the boss of me. Y'all the boss of you. You better show them who the boss. You better show them who got the will. You better show them who. Let me go, y'all. I'm getting too passionate. I don't want to get too upset. Let us. Ooh, so... i see y'all on the next one, man. 31 minutes into this video, man. Y'all already know. Click them buttons, like, comment, subscribe, share. So that algorithm could push these videos out. And we could start getting more people on board with thinking more clearly with owning themselves. Like your masters, like how the masters own the, the celebrities, the entertainers and shit, whatnot. And they'd be like, oh, I own my masters now. Same thing. You better own yourself. Take your shit back. Take your stuff back. Because a lot of these people, they don't, they don't own themselves. A lot of these big people that y'all look up to, that y'all follow behind and all that stuff, they don't even own themselves. Somebody else taking care of them. Somebody else pulling the strings. While y'all watch. And soak it up. Like a dog in heat. Let me go, y'all. I could have this video for two, three, four, five hours. But I ain't got enough storage on this phone. So let me let y'all go and enjoy this beautiful Sunday. I know I will. You got to make it one. Man, make it a good one. If you try to have people come and try to validate your happiness, you've already lost the war. My warriors. I love y'all. Keep being the warriors that y'all are. Can't nobody break you. Can't nobody stop you except for the most high. But he's the one that's helping you. He's the one that's uplifting you. He's the one that's strengthening you. So you better stay with him. That's all I can say. See y'all on the next one, man. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>